while I was sitting back reviewing some of our sponsorship and some of our giving programs, I thought, wow, we, this is so powerful what we're doing with Love Your Sister because the workplace giving model in my mind is such a, it just, just makes everyone feel part of something bigger. So I met Sam at the Irish Club Hotel in Toowoomba and he was talking about you know, his road trips and his you know, endless pub nights and cancer fundraisings across little towns all up the east coast, west coast, all across Australia. That can't have happened this year because of COVID. I could see how, how powerful Sam was in that personal response and he connected with everyone individually and I grabbed him at the end of the night and said hey would you come and have a chat at our staff meeting and talk to my staff about this and maybe we can do something around fundraising for Love Your Sister. Again he bursts on the stage with his ball of energy bouncing around like the Energizer Bunny. Oh yeah. <laughs> Doing alright? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. He was so passionate about Love Your Sister. Our, one of our key values is passion and McNabb and it's something that always attracts me to people when they're particularly passionate about what they do. We've raised over $60,000 in the last 12 months. And it comes from people giving up half a cup of coffee a week, $2.50. Yeah, our business matches the dollar for dollar, but that's really not the important piece. The important piece, we've got a heap of staff. We're doing something really small, but it's created something really, really powerful. It's hit me that Sam won't have been on the road since probably late February, early March this year. From the point of view of McNabb, we'll try and up the ante again this year to support the fact that it's going to be another six months before Sam's back on his pub tours. It's a shame that we can't have a staff meeting this year and Sam gives an update, but I'm sure this August, September uh, 2021, uh, we'll, we'll drag him back again. The other thing that was really important to me was after first hearing Sam was he actually was listening to science. He clearly had the passion for saving cancer patients, but he also had worked out how we needed to approach it in the sense of listen to the best scientists in the world and create these treatments that could save people's lives. Everyone's particularly proud of, of, of how we've been able to contribute to Love Your Sister. And, and for me, that's been really cool to watch, let alone the fact that uh, we know that we're helping people hopefully create some cures for cancer. One of the other things about Love Your Sister that really works for me is the fact that Sam doesn't take himself particularly seriously. And um, part of what we do with Love Your Sister, we buy a little bit of their merchandise and I've got Sam's little box of f**ks and coming from the construction industry, that obviously doesn't offend me overly. And the first one I picked up says, looks like it's f**k this shit o'clock. And I have to say, as someone who doesn't enjoy sitting around doing videos, I'm pretty pleased this is the first one that I picked up because in about two minutes time, it's going to be f**k this shit o'clock and I'm going to go back to my normal day job. Oh, for f**k's sake.